Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss the next chapter of the cardiovascular system, chapter number 11, heart from the medium robins. First of all, just give read to the overview of the heart disease. Then we have the next topic, heart failure. This is not important for the uh, exam point of view. Ischemic heart disease. This uh, topic is basically important for the exam point. If you just give read to the introduction of the ischemic heart disease, and then we have the myocardial infarction. Basically, this topic is important for the SCQ, MCQs, and the viva point of view. You should know about its pathogenesis, its definition, then the sequence of the events which took place in the coronary artery occlusion, and then just give read to the myocardial response to the ischemia. Then we have the um, acute occlusion of the proximal left anterior descending artery and its consequences. This is basically important for the ACQ point of view. Uh, past papers may be kai dafa pucha gaya. So this is important. Then the difference between the transmural infarcts, which is also known as the ST segment elevated MIS, and the known transmural infarcts, which is also known as a known ST segment elevated MIS. The difference between them is important for the ACQ point of view. And then we have the table 11.2. This table is basically important for the MCQs and SEQ point of view. It's time frame and the microscopic findings. These are important for the SEQ point of view. We may see that uh, 4, 4 to 12 hours may light microscopic findings or 7 to 10 days may light microscopic findings. These are important for the SEQs and the MCQs point of view. And then just give read to the factors that contribute to the reperfusion injury. This figure 11.13 is important for the SEQ point of view, the different enzymes which are elevated after a um, specific intervals. These are important for the SEQ point of view. Then the most important SEQ uh, of this topic is consequences and complications of myocardial infarction. Enumerate um, karne so this is important for the SEQ and the viva point of view. And then just give read to the valvular heart disease. You should know about the difference between the stenosis and insufficiency. And then we have the rheumatic fever. This is again important for the SCQ point of view. Its uh, pathogenesis is important from the SCQ point of view. Past papers may be kai dafa pucha gaya. Its morphology is very much important for the SCQ point of view. And then we have the clinical features. These are important. Then we have the infective endocarditis. This is again important for the SCQ, MCQs and the viva point of view. You should know about the difference between the acute endocarditis and the subacute endocarditis, its definition, and then its pathogenesis uh, in which uh, risk factors are very much important for the SCQ point of view. Causative organisms, risk factors, host factors, these are important. Then we have the clinical uh, features uh, which are being divided into acute and subacute. This is again important for the SEQ point of view. Its morphology is also important. Um, on whole, this all uh, infective endocarditis is important for the SEQ, MCQs and the viva point of view. And this is the most important SEQ of this topic, major forms of vegetation, endocarditis. Um, in four, can the difference are that there? So this is very much important. And then we have the complications. These are again important for the SEQ point of view. Cardiomyopathies and myocarditis, uh, basically this chapter is more important for the MCQ's point of view in which we have the dilated cardiomyopathy. This, only this topic is important for the SCQ point of view. Baki sab MCQ's ke karna, this is important for the SCQ point of view, dilated my, um, cardiomyopathy, its pathogenesis is important. And then um, this uh, figure, 11.24 causes and consequences of dilating hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This is important for the SCQ point of view. Then its morphology is important. Its clinical features are important. And then we have the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This is again important uh, for the MCQs. Its pathogenesis and its morphology. Then we have the restrictive cardiomyopathy. Just give read to the restrictive cardiomyopathy. Myocarditis, its pathogenesis is important for the SEQ point of view and its morphology is also very much important. Uh, its three types, hypersensitivity, myocarditis, joint cell myocarditis and Chagas myocarditis, this is important for the SEQ and the MCQ's point of view. So this is all about chapter number 11 heart. We will discuss further topics in my next video. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.